Hi, I'm Stephen Connery Brown, and thanks for watching Theatre News. Stephen Connery Brown, it's great to see you. Thank you. How are you doing today? Good. I'm really excited to be here. Yeah, 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 same here. I mean, you're playing Peter and Strangers in Between, which yeah. is just transferred to the West End at Trafalgar Studios 2 here. Exciting times? Absolutely. We've just been backstage, and it's such a historic rabbit warren. And just think of the famous plays that have been done here at the old, is it originally the Whitehall Theatre? Yeah, with yeah. With all the yeah. Whitehall farces. How, how's the move <laughs> impacted on the, on the production? Um, the set has had to change a little bit. Uh, to accommodate the new space and so this had to be sort of new blocking but I think that's really good because it shakes things up a bit and you don't stay complacent. Absolutely, has your role changed at all? Uh, and that's the same, <laughs> so basically the same but I'm just moving different places and um, yeah. Good, good. I mean playing Peter in this coming of age dark uh, comedy, mm. what's been the, the greatest challenge for you across the period? Um, I, I think making sure that I that I'm, that I'm truthful for him because he's he's um, a middle-aged uh, Sydney gay man, and I I just want to be able to do him justice and not not to st stereotype him in any way, and and to make keep him real. I think that's that's the biggest challenge because he's got he's got some fantastic lines uh, written by the great Tommy Murphy, fantastic yeah. playwright. And Jen has been uh, well, great review so far. Mm. And uh, I mean the cast remains the same. How has the rapport? Fantastic. <laughs> we get along really well. We get along really well. We joke. And I think that it's so important because it translates onto stage as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And how do you warm up prior to a show? I do my vocal warm ups and zoom, all that sort of thing. And, um, and a bit of shaking out. I don't. I think it really helps because you're in, in the space at, at right at the beginning. And otherwise, it'll take a good 10 minutes on stage to warm up. And so I just do it. I, I suppose it's a little bit superstition because I, I know some actors who are brilliant and they don't do any warm ups. But I feel as if I need to just to, to focus. Absolutely. And, I mean, yeah. I thought a warm up's essential. Right? Yeah, but I know some actors who don't and they're just brilliant. Very good. <laughs> and um, I mean, you're just filming Chris Waits' new feature film, oh, yeah. director. Uh, tell us about your role and uh, <laughs> how you found that. Very different from this one is Jacques, Jacques Demy, who's a, a famous French director. He's made major films. He did a lot, a lot of musicals, similar to like La La Land, very very colourful and um, bright colours with uh, Catherine Deneuve and um, some other really famous French stars. And um, it's a, just a fa very funny film about this uh, a director who who tries to impress uh, his sort of ex, uh, this girlfriend. And um, he, he, the film he makes is not that great, and then he's visited by these apparitions of all these famous directors, and I'm one of them, Jacques Demy. Sounds super. <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a French accent. Excellent. Uh, are you happier on stage or in front of the camera? Um, I suppose on stage it's, it's great because you, you feel as if you can, if you don't get it right this night, you can get it right next time. And I suppose in, on film or if you're doing like a, a small film or a video, it, you, you do many takes and you try to give the director whatever they need to, to be able to tell their story. But um, basically it's their decision, it's their choice. So, yeah, yeah. You, you, so some of the power goes to them. But it's great and it's a, it's a different, it is quite different in that I think with film you just have to forget, you just do it and don't try to project or make sure you're heard. Yeah, and I suppose the, the immediacy of the, of the stage, the audience. Yes, yes, so you know immediately whether what you do lands or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean have you had to sort of temper your performance during the, uh, during the run of the show? In this particular role? Well, with the King's Head, it's quite deceptive because it's not a large space, but you just still have to be very clear to, to hit those back seats, especially when they're full of people. Um, here, it's a very, very um, intimate space, but the acoustics are fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And um, so it's, it's, it should be really, really interesting to see how that, how that goes. What, what are your acting ambitions? Uh, <laughs> just to keep acting. <laughs> um, to keep acting and to. Um, yeah, to m maybe do some more sort of, uh, so I've done quite a few sort of short films and things and to do more of that really. I just find that very, very um, challenging, yeah. Great. Um, and where did you grow up and when did you <coughs> discover your passion for, for theatre acting? Well, I'm from Sydney. Uh, I don't have much of an Australian accent, I can, I can broaden it as I do in this play. <laughs> and um, so I grew up in Sydney and 
I uh, joined a theatre and education company that moved, did uh, shows in Melbourne and in Tasmania. And in Melbourne, I stayed in Melbourne and I became a waiter. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, while well, continue try to continue acting, and I did a lot of community theatre, a lot of fringe theatre, and um, and then I decided I'd do a degree in computer science, and so then I got sort of a proper job in sort of corporate in the corporate world. I came to Britain, and uh, I was still doing sort of uh, IT related work, uh, and and also fringe theatre, a lot of really good uh, community theatres here in Britain, in London. And then I did a course at East 15 Acting School, a Masters of Acting, and uh, since then, it's yeah, it's been really great. I've done lots of things, lots of sort of small tours, tours uh, abroad in south of France, and and bits and pieces and at commercials and things. Great. Uh, away from the stage, what do you like getting up to? How do you relax? I like travelling. I re really like visiting foreign places and seeing the culture. I went to St. Petersburg uh, late last year for, for two weeks and that, the visa was hor horrifying. It took yeah. forever to sort of get through it. But it's an amazing, amazing city and I learned super like just so they wouldn't get lost in the metro stations because they, <laughs> the, now they've got English underneath them for the World Cup. Um, but it's a uh, oh, fantastic city. And I saw some theatre, saw a ballet at the Mariinsky Theatre in St. Petersburg, and I saw a couple of um, Russian, of course, a Chekhov, of course. Yeah. And it had uh, s subtitles, which, <laughs> which meant I could follow it. But it was really, really great to see Chekhov done in, um, in Russian. How, how do the venues and the sort of the performances compare? <laughs> They were, the theatres are so grand, really grand. You know, I was just amazed how um, they're like sort of sumptuous palaces. These are the, the big theatres. Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, it, yeah, they, they did compare. The actors are excellent, but the actors are excellent here as well. Yeah. Of course. Um, any other roles lined up? Um, no, I've got a, uh, a, a playing another Australian short film sort of in the summer in, in France. Uh, playing an, an Aussie, uh, an Aussie with his family, who decides to downshift and live in rural France for a while. So Excellent. We'll look out for that. Um, thanks a lot for your time. What, why should um, everyone rush out and come and see Strangers in Between? I think it's such a lovely play. It's really funny and very sweet, and it's. I think it makes you really feel good because it's very life affirming. I think especially for this, this young boy who escapes from a country town that's not very tolerant and ends up in, the, in a very frightening city in King's Cross, which is the w worst part of Sydney, red light district, sort of, you've got prostitutes, drug pushers, and then he meets a, another family who, who, who help him and protect him. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Anything else to say to theatre news watchers? No. <laughs> no but I do, I do read, I do read uh, what, visit the website, though. It's good. Excellent. Thank Cheers. you very much. Thank you. Bye. Cheers.